And now some tips. First of all, if you're new to this, uh, get some experience, do a test run, get four or five other people uh, around town or in your team uh, to jump online with you so you can use the software, you can role play. Uh, if you're gonna do breakout rooms, test them out because uh, they're a little, uh, they're nuanced. Uh, use a microphone if you can. We, we use a microphone uh, ourselves uh, because the, the built-in microphones in, in most computers aren't that great. Uh, typically the, the cameras are, uh, but audio is so critical. It's the biggest part of video is audio. Uh, so you really want to have a good microphone. Yep. Number two, uh, go for a virtual water cooler. This is pretty similar to what we were talking about as far as uh, having that 12 to 12.30 lunch thing. But you can have another meeting where uh, standing times, uh, where people can just pop in and say, oh, who's there? It's like the virtual break room. Oh, or, or people can say, I'm going to meet you in the virtual break room if you just have a standing meeting that people can, can use uh, to see each other and kind of interact in a more informal method. Um, so the, those kinds of things are really important. Uh, this, the Irvine company, they had that set up at each one of their locations. Each break room and the different uh, locate offices they had had a big screen TV, and you could just talk to people from the other locations. So you could think about doing something like that as well. One thing we found is that trying to do a virtual meeting in the middle of an in-person meeting is much more difficult. So thank goodness we're all at home uh, because a virtual meeting is easier. Uh, but uh, what we find is that e even in a, in a Facebook meeting that we facilitated, the in-person people get lots more attention than the people who are dialing in or, or, or coming in on Zoom or something. So uh, it, 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 you got to really get good at facilitation to make sure everyone gets included if you try in the mixed meeting. Cool. Number four, uh, do daily huddles, virtually, visually, every single team. Uh, you can combine it with Asana or Jira for office teams. Uh, so you talk over the tasks you have in your Kanban board. You can combine it with Plannerly or BIM 360 for design teams. Or you can combine this with uh, LPS software if you have it. Uh, if you have a V plan or a touch plan and you have your plan that's up there, call it up, talk it over. What's the work that needs to be done? You want to talk over what did we get done yesterday? What are the things we're planning to do today? And what are we planning to do tomorrow? What things do we need in order to do our work, especially from other members of the team? If you're a leader, you need standard work more than ever, even more central to manage teams remotely with some kind of standard work. All that means is this. There's a checklist that you develop of the, the things you want to make sure you check in with the team to do every day and then every week and then every month and then every quarter. So it's standard work by having it as a checklist that you actually use. You get that stuff out of the way. You make sure you've covered it on a daily, weekly, uh, monthly or quarterly basis. And it frees up your mind to be more creative and to do a better job. We have a checklist for webinars and the things that we need to do to get ready and prepare and present it. And we added to ours very recently, close out Slack and every other application on your computer that makes noise so you don't, guys don't hear it in the background. Uh, I'll have to see if I can talk to the construction crew outside and see if we can have somehow get them added to the pre-webinar the pre -webinar checklist. But I don't think we'll be successful with getting them to replant their work around us. Uh, but number six, double checking company internet speeds. We don't think about this, but if you're remoting in, say if you're a designer and you uh, have to access a Revit model, a lot of data going back and forth. And your, your uh, regular internet speeds at their office might not be up to that. We have a lot of control over what we have at home. We're used to having fast internet, um, but that might not be the case right now. So if you're suspecting problems, talk to your IT folks. There may also be simple settings they can toggle or adjust or throttle up and down uh, to make uh, telework easier. But you know, make sure you let them know what's going on with that. And if it if it all all else fails, man, put the request through. We need to upgrade our internet. Everybody's working virtually. This is something we need. And for goodness sake, get some training, get some coaching. We're going to be at this for a while. We need to get really good at virtual meetings. Uh, they need to be shorter. They need to be well facilitated. And we, we're not born with these skills. These are learned skills. So get some good training. You'll notice on the, the right-hand side of the screen where you were watching this video that there is going to be a little pop-up where you can request a 20-minute time slot with us 
to talk over uh, what you need, how your needs are changing, maybe even just strategize how you can meet virtually better online. So if you, if you want to take advantage of that, just uh, schedule some time and we'll be happy to get together and talk over what you guys need.